Let's recall a few facts that we have learned previously in our work on matrices and linear algebra. The first of those facts is that if you've got a square matrix, then its determinant is telling you something geometric. It's telling you about the volume of a certain shape encoded by the columns of that matrix. And the second important fact is that square matrices are really interpretable as linear transformations, that is, as linear changes of coordinates. And if we put these two together, we're going to get a very helpful interpretation. So to clarify what I mean by those remarks, let's recall that if you have a square matrix A, then the columns of A span a parallelepiped in Rn with n dimensional volume equal to the absolute value of the determinant. So we have an algebraic interpretation in terms of column vectors. We have a geometric interpretation in terms of a parallelepiped. Now that could be a little hard to see, but knowing that fact about the volume tells us how to interpret things in terms of linear transformations. If we take the basis vectors in Rn and think of A as a linear transformation, those unit basis vectors are sent to the columns of A. Now those unit basis vectors span a unit cube in n-dimensional space, and that cube with volume one is sent to the parallelepiped whose volume is equal to the absolute value of the determinant of A. And that tells you what is happening to volumes in linear transformations.